ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله واتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد عباد الله اعلموا ان خير الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار عباد الرحمن عباد الله the khatib before me did not tell us anything other than the, from the book of Allah and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the khatib who is going to come after me will not tell you other than from the book of Allah and from the sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and by default I will not tell you anything other than what is in the kitab Allah wa sunnati rasul and whatever he told us and whatever he will tell us whoever khatib will stand right here is just a reminder is for us to reflect it is indeed the same ayat and the same ahadith the same athar so we can reflect and learn from them again and again and today i would like to take you with me to a unique yet known journey journey from this dunya to another world journey that is la budda min there is no way around it and no i'm not talk, talking about death but i'm talking about yawm al hash yawm al qiyamah on that day, ya ibad Allah, but before it in this dunya, we learn in our sharia, there are four types of hash. Hash that already took place. It happened when the enemy of Rasulullah from Ahl al Kitab plotted against the messenger of Allah and Allah gave his messenger the upper hand. The second hashr is the day that we will all be driven to Ard al-Sham. It is indeed Yawm al-Asir. It is indeed a difficult journey. The messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that at the end of time a fire will come from Hadramaut when Adan Abi. And that fire will bring everybody to Sham to Ard al Mahshar. And it is so difficult journey, Ibadullah. 
According to the Messenger of Allah, Allah will cause the mounds, camels and ca camels and horses and mules and donkeys to die, except a few of them. So this fire will come and will bring everybody from every part of the world. And this fire, when they walk, it will bring, will come closer to them. And when they rest, it will stop and rest with them. And when they sleep, you will wait for them. And between that flame, that fire, and the people who are trying to run away from it are the beasts of the earth. Anyone, anyone that is weak, anyone who decided to stay behind, they will be devoured by them before the fire gets to them. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, two individuals will share one camel. Three individuals will share one camel. Four individuals, ten of them will share one camel. And then we all come and they all come to Ard al-Sham. And from that moment when we all get there, when the people, mankind get there, a cloud, a thick, dark cloud, will rise from the west. And this cloud will keep rising up until it covers the light of the sun. وَهُنَا يَا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ اللَّهُ يَقُولُ وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ At that moment, when all of us, all were, whoever remains out of human beings, were all come to that point, then the Qiyamah would start. وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ And at that moment, everybody would die, إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ قَالَ الْعُلَمَاءِ إِلَّا الشُّهَدَاءِ فَإِنَّهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُ Except the, those who died as a shaheed, everyone else would die. قَالَ ثُمَّ نُفِخَ فِيهُ أُخْرَى فَإِذَا هُمْ قِيَامٌ يَنْظُرُونَ And the difference, the, the, the time between the first nafkha and the second nafkha is 40 years. Not one day, not one night, not one week, not 40 days, but 40 years. And at that moment, a cloud will rain. And a human being will come out of the graves like the seed of a buck, like the trees, like a little plant. They will grow out of their graves. Allah yaqul anadak, as Allah described in the Quran, al qari'ah wa ma adaraka ma al qari'ah yawma yakunu nasu kal farash al mabthus. People will become like a butterfly. And why did Allah use butterflies? But if you see, when you, in reality, if you see a group of butterflies flying together, you will realize that they really don't have a direction. They look confused. And on that day, we will come out. We know what exactly where we're going. And we're going to Arasat al Qiyamah. And of course, the first whom the grave will release is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then his followers. Us will be first to be released from their graves. And we will all, kajarad al muntashi we will all run to the mahshar. Amma al-samawat. Allah yaqoo yawma natwi al-samaa ka tayyi sijil lil kutub. إذا الشمس كورت وإذا النجوم كدرت وإذا الجبال سيرت وإذا العشار عطل وإذا الوحوش حشرت وإذا البحار وإذا النفوس زوجت وإذا الموؤودة سئلت بأي ذنب قتلت وإذا الصحف نشرت وإذا السماء كشطت وإذا الجحيم صعرت وإذا الجنة أزلفت علمت نفس ما أحضرت that's the whole idea. Alimat nafsun ma ahbarat. What did you bring to Arasat al Qiyamah? What did you brought from this dunya? Nothing. Hufatun urat. 
قرر nothing even the piece of, of, of flesh that you lost when they were circumcising you as a child will be restored again no wealth no business no wives no children no credit cards no nice vehicles no beautiful homes nothing but you naked qalat aisha ya rasul allah men and women looking at each other naked faqala ya aisha al amru ashadd min dhalik he said the issue is greater than someone looking at the opposite sex or opposite gender. Because on that day, it is that indeed, يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَبَنِي It is indeed on that day that you have no one else but your amal. وَتَرَى النَّاسَ سُكَارَ وَمَا هُمْ سُكَارَ وَلَكِنْ عَذَابُ اللَّهِ And there is no عذاب yet. There is no عذاب. في حديث أنس يُحشر الناس People will be gathered on a playing field. ليس لأحد معلم أو علم No one owns a property there. For those of us who own homes for those of us who have one, two, three, nine, ten buildings, you own nothing on that day. Nothing. The sun is so bright, and the people are drowning under their sweat. Yaqulu Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the sweat, some of the narration will go 70 feet, 70 meters under you and then it'll come up based on your sins some of us after the ankles some of us up to the knees some of us up to the hips some of us up to the shoulder some of us we are almost will be drowning in our sweat and the sun if you think the brothers who are sitting outside if you think for those of us who walk to the masjid we went through hot and heat wait until you see your malqiyam Wait. And that moment people will get confused where to run to. And they will run to Adam, Nuh, Ibrahim, Musa alayhi salam. And they will come to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At that moment the Messenger of Allah will intercede for us. For everybody, for Allah to judge amongst us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the hadith in the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said people would be on that land and then malaika sama'i dunya the first heaven who are multiple more than the humans and the jinn and the animals who will be resurrected on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah. They will all come and they will be surrounding us. And when we see the Malaika, when people see the Malaika, they will ask them the question, Afikum Allah or Afikum Rabbuna, is our Lord with you? And the Malaika, they will say, Subhanallah, He is coming in Nahuja. And then the second Sama, which is double of the first, and then the third, which is double of the second, and then the fourth was a double on the third, and so on, until Sama, Allah Sama is focused, the seventh heavens, and the angels will come. وَجَاءَ رَبُّكَ وَالْمَلَاءِ وَالْمَلَكُ صَفًّا 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 means they will be surrounding us, circle, behind circle, behind circle. And when we see the number of malaika who is coming just before Allah, we will run. We will run as people run and afraid of kings. We will run away. And the malaika would stop us at the borders of that land. And then at that moment, Allah will come. وَاسْمَعُ يَا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ when Allah comes, Allah sits on His throne and He says, 
الْيَوْمَ يَعْلَمُ Today you will learn who is most generous. فَيَقُولُ اللَّهُ أَيْنَ الْحَمَّادُونَ عَلَى كُلِّ حَالٍ Where they used to be grateful on all conditions. Where are they? Who used to say, Alhamdulillah, your son is sick, Alhamdulillah, you lost your job, Alhamdulillah, your wife died, Alhamdulillah, you have nowhere to stay, Alhamdulillah. Allah will say, where are they? And they will arise, they will get up, and they will be directed towards Jannah. And then Allah will say for the second time, today they will know who is the most generous. أين الذين تتجافى جنوبهم عن المضاجع؟ Where are أهل القيام الليل؟ Where are they؟ Where are those people who you never, never used to sleep until they pray قيام الليل؟ فيقومون and they will get up and they will be directed towards Jannah. And then Allah will say, Today you will know who is most generous for the third time. أين الذين لا تلهيهم تجارة ولا بيع عن ذكر الله؟ Where are those people? Not the people who come last minute for salah. Not those who will come for Jum'ah just to attend the last two the two rak'ah of the salah itself because they're busy with work and businesses. أين الذين لا تلهيهم أو لم تلهيهم تجارة ولا بيع عن ذكر الله وإقام الصلاة ثم يخرج ثم تأتي بجهنم يؤتى بجهنم then جهنم will be brought فيخرج منها عم a head will rise from them and he will say وكل to be ثلاث I was giving order to snatch three categories of people كل جبار عنيد. Every arrogant, hot-headed refuses the حق. جهنم will say he is mine. The messenger of Allah said it will be taking amongst the people like the seeds of grains. And then when they done, جهنم will say, أين الذين كانوا يؤذون الله ورسوله؟ where are those who used to harm Allah and His Messenger? Who used to belittle the book of Allah and the teaching of the Messenger of Allah? Who used to make fun of the Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why your pants is so long? Why your beard is so long? Why don't you look nice? Yastahazuna bi Sunnah Nabi. And then jihad, those will be taking like the seats. And then Jahannam would say, أين المصورون? Where are those who used to fashion images of angels and people? And then they will be taken to Jahannam with Iyad Billah. Yet, the Hisab did not begin. The Hisab did not start yet. يقول بعد تقول بعد الأثر the first wolf that will be questioned would be Malaika like Israfil wa Jibreel alayhi wasalam. And Allah will say to them, Ya Israfil wa Ya Jibreel hal balagta ahdi. Did you convey my message? Did you do your responsibility? And they will say yes. And there will be no one to contest that. And then Allah will bring the messengers فَلَنْ نَسْأَلَنَّ الَّذِينَ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَنْ نَسْأَلَنَّ الْمُرْسَلِينَ The messengers will be brought and all the messengers would be asked did you convey the message that I gave you to the people? And they would say, أَيْ رَبَّنَا Yes, we did. And Allah would ask the people did these messengers of mine convey the message? The message? And the people would say yes and no. Huna, here the hisab begins but I can't cover everything but I will cover a few items perhaps you and I may reflect and take heat 
There are certain people that Allah on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah لا يكلمهم ولا ينظر إليهم ولا يزكيهم نسأل الله أن لا يجعلنا منهم قولوا آمين There are certain people whom Allah will not talk to them will not look at them and will not purify them First من كتب ما أنزل من في كتاب الله إن الذين يكتمون ما أنزل الله من الكتاب anything that has been the book that has been revealed to the nations to the people those will be first that Allah will not will talk to them Allah will not speak to those people and Allah said ولا يكلمهم الله ولا يزكيهم ولهم عذاب أليم يقول أبا هريرة كما في سنن أبي داود من علم علم من سئل علما علما ثم كتب لجم يوم القيامة بلجام من النار if you were asked a knowledge that you have but you refuse to share that knowledge with people you will be put لجام you know لجام is something that we put in the mouth of horses and animals to rain to for rains they will be put on that on the day of Yom al -Qiyam. the second category that Allah will not look at them and Allah will not speak to them and Allah will not purify on the day of Yom al -Qiyamah. those who sell what they sell by a false testimony false testimony Wallahi, I bought this for this price. Wallahi, this is what I pay for. Fi Sahih al Bukhari, min hadith Abdullah bin Abi Awfa. And that the man in the city of Medina, he put selling a commodity. And he said, By Allah, I was giving this much for this. Liyuqa abihi rajul min al Muslimin. But he faked the price. فأنزل الله إن الذين يشترون بعهد الله وأيمانهم ثمنا قليلا. Those people who are buying or selling things with the fake prices, Allah will not speak to them on the day of Yom Al Qiyam. And don't think big businesses. No, the guy who is hustling outside is one of them. The people on the streets at the traffic lights, if you ask them and they lie, they will be under that category. The other people whom Allah will not speak to them on the day of Yom Al Qiyamah is Malikun Kadhab, a ruler as a liar. A man who has the authority over people, but he's a liar. He lies to them. Allah will not speak to them on the day of Yom Al Qiyamah. But the thing that may all of us share is the following one. One of the people that Allah will not speak to them on the day of Yom Al Qiyamah is someone who gave bay'ah to Imam. لا يبيعه إلا للدنيا. In this nowadays is the voting. If you vote for somebody because you think you can get something out of it for this dunya, Allah will not speak to you on the day of Yom Al Qiyamah. You will not be looked at. One of us. How many of us in Islam, we're not even allowed to run for positions. We are handpicked. But how many of us are, mashallah, with the drums and the loud sounds, you know, you know, lobbying for this person and lobbying for that person. And it's only for dunya, not for the deen of Allah. And some of the people Allah will not speak to on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah. al manan Someone who does favors for others, but he comes back and he says, Well, I did this and this for that person. I, Wallahi, I'm the one, I, I'm, I helped him out. When he came to this country, he had nothing. I helped him out. It is me who made this man. 
Allah will not speak to them on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah, will not look at them, will not purify them. قَالَ الْعُلَمَاء That means he would, that person would not hear anything good from Allah. Some of the people that Allah will not talk to them, وَقُولُوا مَا شِئْتُمْ Say whatever you want. Is the people who's musbil, izara, someone who wears something longer, lower than his ankles. I know we all have excuses. But in that hadith, Allah will not look at you, purify you, or give you any speech. And the other category that are Muslims, but they will be resurrected. No, the other category that will be a Muslim will be resurrected with the fujjar are the tujjar. Tujjar, business people. If you are in business, you will be resurrected with the fujjar. Ahl Jahannam. Yaqulu Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said to the Sahaba, tujjar, will be presented and resurrected with the fujjar. Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, isn't halal, isn't it selling and buying halal? He said, yes. But they sell and they lie and they swear and they lie. Other people who will not be in a place that Allah is pleased on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah is the people who portray others. <laughs> oh, we're good at this. We're good at this. Our community is very good. We portray each other. In business, we portray each other. You see, your brother has a deal with so-and-so. You go behind him and you buy the same property that he already put an offer on it. When the messenger of Allah said, none of you should buy from the buy of your brothers. None of you should go after something that your brother's interested in. And the other party agreed. This is Ahl al-Ghadr. On the day of Yawm al-Qiyamah, those people in front of all the khalaiq, there would be a flag that put next to that, you know, behind. And everybody will say, this is the reward of that ghadr. And mashallah, we think by stealing that property from this person and that person, or taking away from that person, is the part of the business. It is not. One of the things, Ibad Allah, that you have to be careful, is taking a ship of land that is not yours. Ship of land. One of hand span of your of yours, of land, if you take it unjustly, and the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah, you will be, يخصف به الأرض سبعين. Be careful. أقول ما تسمعون استغفر الله لك فاستغفروه إنه الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله صلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عباد الله while this is going on on the day of يوم القيامة on the other side أهل الإيمان والتقوى والصلاح والصلاة أهل القرآن والسنة أهل المساجد on the other side that 50,000 years long day, the time will seem to them, to them, will seem as though it's between Salat al-Dhuhr and Salat al-Asr. Not a whole year, not a whole day. It's just the time between Salat al-Dhuhr and Salat al-Asr. During that time, Ahl al-Imani wa taqwa they will be drinking from the hawd of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the source of is a nahr al-kawthar that's coming from the water that's coming from al-kawthar that will be hitting hawd of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On that day, Ahl al-Salah, Ahl al-Islam, Ahl al-Iman, Ahl al-Taqwa, they will be feasting on a thawr, a bull that was in Jannah, was prepared for the mu'minin Ahl al-Iman. They will be enjoying themselves. And they would assume that the Qiyamah itself was very short time. 
And then the third mahshab that I mentioned would be at the gates of Jannah or Jahannam al billah. And at that moment, Fariq fi al-Jannah wa Fariq fi al-Sahir. Ahl al-Iman, led by the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-Anbiya wa al-Rusul, and the Nafuqara al-Muhajirin, they will be going to the Ashab al-Yameen. And the rest of the people will be going to Jahannam al-Iyadu billah. And another third group will be Ashab al-A'raf. People whom hasana, their hasanat and sayyat were equal in bounds. And inshallah at the end of time, will be, they will be in Jannah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Ahl Jannah. Ibadallah, the stories are, and the, 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 the evidence and the narrations of, of the Yawm Al-Qiyamah is not a drop of what I mentioned. But because of the time limitation, we would stop here. But we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with rizq halal, to bless us with business that is halal, to bless us with akhlaq that is acceptable, to forgive our sins. Allahumma azza al-islam wa al-muslimin. Allahumma azza al-islam wa al-muslimin. Allahumma arhamna fa anta bina rahim. Wala ta'adhibna fa anta alayna qadir. اللهم هدنا إلى سبل السلام اللهم تجاوز عنا يا أكرم الأكرمين وأقم الصلاة يرحم يرحمكم الله